So, so what? It's not the same. A monomial, remember, just is one term. A polynomial is the sum. So when we're looking at this, first thing we want to do is verify that all of my monomials are indeed monomials. Are all of these monomials? Yes. Yes. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is arrange this in descending order. And what I mean by that is have the largest power, the monomial with the largest degree or power first. Is there a problem, Nick? Because I saw it come over from this side. I didn't see where it came from, but I saw it come over from that side. OK. Well, I better not see it happen again. Just saying. I'm not saying that's fine. I know. It's crazy, right? Still. Can't even behave. So obviously, on the next one, these are all monomials. The next thing we're going to do is we want to label them in terms of their powers. Now, there's a couple power <laughs> degrees that we do not see up here. Notice when you have x, that is really just x to the first power. And if you don't have a variable, that's really x to the 0 power. So that means every monomial has a degree or a power, every single one, even if it's not shown. Okay. So now the next thing we do is we label them in their descending order of degrees. Huh? We're ordering them by their degree. No. What base? What do you mean base? The coefficient? The coefficients, you mean? Yeah. We're gonna, we don't want to label them by the coefficients. We want to label them by the degree. And the reason why that is because the term that has, and we'll discuss, I'll show you why that's going to work like that um, later. But the important thing is now what we want to do is Determine what was our largest degree. What was our largest power of a binomial? Three. Three. So the degree, the degree of our polynomial is the largest degree of all of our monomials. So we're going to say the degree is three. So this term, which is our term that had the largest degree, is what we call our leading term. <clears throat> and now the last thing we need to do is determine our coefficient. So what is the number that's being multiplied by x to the third? It's the number in front. It's 1. Just like if it, was, if it was this one, then you'd say it was 3. That one, you'd say negative 7. Here, it's not so obvious that there's a 1 in front, but we've got to remember that the leading coefficient is equal to 1. OK? Um, 